Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator Framework Beginners Tutorial and this is our part 11. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about select and update active record query. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coordinator Framework Tutorial. So in our last video session guys, we had seen about how can we make our multiple database connections in the file something called database.php and how can we use that all we have seen so far in our previous video session. Inside this video, what we are going to do, we are going to make some of the models, some of the controller by the help of those, we will make some queries. By the help of those query, we are going to select some data from our database as well as we will update some data according to some specific condition. Inside this video, we are going to use our default database connection what we have specified in our connection name called default. Inside this default connection name, this is the database. So if we back to our database, now inside this database, we have a table something called tbl underscore users. Inside this table, we have four records. Now by the help of our active record query, we are going to select some, some specific data on some condition or we are going to select all the data from this table. Also, we will see about how can we update data according to some specific condition, either it will be ID, name and the phone number. So back to editor. Now I am going to create firstly the controller file. So to go to controllers folder, let's create a file something called action. Inside this file, firstly let's declare class action, let's say extends and basically it extends CI controller to get all the features basically Coordinator provides. Now inside this class, I am going to make firstly the constructor. Inside this constructor, we load our model. So let's say that this load something model and we are going to create the model something the name something called action underscore model. So this is the model we are going to create. So copy this model name go to our models folder and inside models folder let me create that file and it should be a in capital letter so press enter model has been created now inside this file let's say the class action model what we have the file name extends basically it extends ci underscore model to get all the features of codeigniter model inside this class also I'm going to make our control constructor so let's say public function this is the magic function something called construct and inside this construct I'm going to load our default database connection something called this load and it should be database now it will load our active connection name and something called default okay now we are going to write our queries inside this model and we will use these queries inside this controller so firstly let's say that public function get all data this is the method that we have made inside this method we are going to call our model something action model and inside that model we are going to select all data this is the method we are going to create inside this model which basically select all the data from our table so copy the method name go to model and let's say that this is the method that we have made something public function and this is the method name it will select all data from table okay again if i back to database.php inside this table as we have remembered that we have provided db prefix as tbl underscore it means that we are going to write only the table name is something users because by default it will attach db prefix it means that we are going to write only user now inside this method, let's say this, db, we are going to select all the data. So it should be select. Inside this select, we are not going to means take any specific column. We are going to take all the results. So this should be star. Now after writing this, let's say that this, db, and here is we have get method. Inside get method, we have to provide the table name. So let's say that we are going to use something called users because by default it is taking something called tbl underscore users as we have provided tbl underscore as a prefix inside database.php now finally 
after writing these two lines it has generated the query something called it's a select asterisk means select all from our table something called tbl underscore users this is the query behind the scene has been generated by these two lines now we are going to store this query inside a variable something called query now finally we are going to run that so copy this query variable and let's say that result equal to this or something we have query after this query variable we have a method something called result so let's say result so if I save this file go here and if I store all the results inside this data variable and something we are going to print R so let's say print R and something we have data and also we are going to use a pre tag to make some formatting so pre R E and save this file back here remember we have made the controller something called firstly index.php and this time this is not site this is all about our action why not actually we will make some route for that so back here go to routes file and let's say that route something action and finally let's say select all then it will use something called our action controller inside action controller we have a method called get all data so copy the method name and put it here so if I only copy this route name back to our browser pasting it here and press enter and we are getting no data so let me check that back to editor this is our data and finally all the data basically coming from our model and finally we have to return that this is a mistake that we did so save this file back here reload this page now as we can see that guys all the data what we have inside our table all actually we are getting inside this route page so finally we have selected all the data by writing our query something called this db select and this db get users it means that select asterisk select all from the tbl users also we have alternative options in our code igniter model we can separate these two lines into three different lines what are those lines so if I comment all these first let me comment all these things and let's say that this DB select this time we are going to select only name and the email so name email back here let's say this DB and we are going to specify from method basically this is from takes the table name so if I copy this users pasting it here and it will attach tbl underscore by default so let's tbl underscore users finally we need to write this db get inside get method we are not going to pass our table name because we have specified inside this from method now finally we have to store this query inside a variable something called query now finally query and result so if we save this file go here reload this page all the result has been same but this time we have actually fetched only name and the email what we have provided inside this select method now we are going to provide some of the where conditions by the help of those conditions actually we are going to take our result so if I comment all these codes from here and let's say that this DB let's say select this time we want all the results and basically from our table so let's say db from and the table name is something users this db where inside this where method we are going to put our where condition it means that on the behalf of which condition we want to take our result so back to database table now inside this table we want the result which has this name or email something what we have inside this column so if I copy this email address back to our editor and let's say that where email equal to what we have here and finally we need to generate our query so query let's say this db and git method and now finally we have run our query to get all the results here so if I save this file back to our browser reload this page now as we have only single record why we are getting because we have specified the condition here now in case 
if we suppose we are going to pass multiple conditions inside this where condition so how can we pass multiple conditions inside this method so if I comment this line suppose we are going to take the result on the behalf of something email and the ID so how can we specify multiple conditions so let's do this DB where method inside this where method we are going to make an array inside this array we are going to pass our conditions ID let's say ID equal to 1 or something 2 and the email so if we go here email is something like this so if I copy go here and pasting it here so on the behalf of these two conditions results will be taken from our database table so save this file back here reload this page now we have this data so finally guys this is all about selecting data from our database table let's go ahead and learn about something called update so public so firstly let's go to controller and we are going to make a method something called public function update data inside this method let's say that this action model inside this model let's say update data or let's say update table data now copy this method name go to model and we are going to create a method for that so public function update table data inside this method if I back to database table let's say that we are going to update our first result means first data we want to change the name email and the phone number on the behalf of ID so back to our editor let's say that data inside this data array we are going to provide our updated values so inside this let's say name something online web tutor inside email online web tutor hub at gmail.com and something mobile number we have the dummy value so let's say phone number it should be I think the column name is phone number so phone number and here we have the value something called dummy values what we have so if I save this file now this is the dummy data that we are going to update with the first data row so now the condition is that this DB where inside this where we are going to provide our condition so condition is that where id equal to 1 after adding this where condition we are going to use update method from our model functions by the help of the which actually we are going to update our data so let's say this db update method inside this update method firstly we have to specify our table name so we have the table name is something called tbl underscore users and now in the second parameter we have to pass our data so this is the updated data by the help of which we are going to update our result set and finally let's return true value so if I save this file go to controller and finally we have here so if we write something called return or let's say if because it is returning the true value so here let's say if echo inside that within h3 tag let's say data has been updated so if I save this file back to our routes now we are going to create another route something called update data and this will call the method inside this action controller something called update underscore data so pasting it here now if I copy this route back here and let me change it to something like that and pressing enter now as we can see that data has been updated back to table refresh this page now as we can see that updated data has been on the ID equal to 1 so finally guys we have seen about selecting data and also we have seen about that how can we update our data according to some specific condition inside our table and also guys one more thing that I, I would like to discuss with you that we actually got two questions from our channel firstly the first question was why we write model name in lowercase in controllers if we back to editor to understand about the question 
as we know that we have created our model name is something action underscore model where a is in capital letter but we have loaded this model inside our controller as we have seen in lower case this is not the compulsion this is not the needed requirement of coding writer you can write in uppercase also this will bring the same result set what we got in the previous so let's see that if we change it to small uppercase a so this should be action model and if we write about the route so let's say that select all and here if we write and this time guys we are going to use something called uppercase means the name of the model is in uppercase so save this file enter and we are getting the same results what we got from our previous okay so there is no issue this is our choice that how can we write our model name inside controllers but i strongly recommend that if you specify any file name any model name any controller name any view name inside any of them then please use lowercase names now if i make undo all these changes so this should be in a small case back to our second question second question is that why we don't prefer writing database queries directly to controller means why we make controller to understand about the question question is that why actually we have made action model dot php why we have written our queries inside this file why we don't actually write all these queries inside this model directory so as we know guys we are learning code igniter and code igniter is a framework of php and all the frameworks of php follows a pattern something called mvc it means that model view controller so if we go about the file names model basically stores all the database queries all the connections all the values we are getting from the tables in the second word something called view view basically in the presentational part it means that what we are going to present to the user all the view contains next what we have controllers this is called mvc c stands for controller controller is basically interacting with our model and the view file it means that if we want to specify or so some results inside our view so we actually get all the data from our con from our model loads inside this controller and controller will pass all the data to our view file this is the pattern but in case if we don't want to follow the mvc pattern if we want to write directly all the queries inside this controller we can also achieve that how can we achieve that firstly we can load this database to our action constructor function and after loading that we will get access over this db instance so by getting this instance we can write our queries directly inside this controller but I strongly recommend that guys please follow the pattern of MVC so, so that we can separate all the database in a separate file, all the presentational part in a single file and all the connecting files like model and views inside a controller. So these are the questions guys actually I got from my channel. Now inside this video guys if you have any query then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.